Good morning, Hornets. Today is Wednesday, September 29th. It is our third day of Homecoming Spirit Week. And as you can see by my hat and my plaid shirt, today is Western Wednesday, and I'm really excited about that. So looking forward to seeing everybody out in the halls. I'm sure we're going to have a great turnout for our Spirit Day. Speaking of that, we do have an update in terms of our leaderboard for Hive. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that. Currently, we have Miss Delay's Hive is in first place with 30. Miss Lamping's class, Hive class, is in second with 28. And Miss Keneally and Miss Larbus's Hive is tied for third at 25. And you can see that we have a very close race for everybody to be in that top three. So keep uh, dressing up each day. Um, I know that we're going to have a great turnout today. And then tomorrow is Throwback Thursday. So dress like anybody from a previous era, and you'll get your hive some points. So looking forward to that. All right, back to the announcements. Uh, we have a junior high football game tonight. That is at home versus Carlisle. And seventh grade starts at 530. Eighth grade starts at 630. Hopefully everybody can make it out. Uh, for that, we will have an update on our R Factor Homecoming Court. We have 12 finalists based on the nominations. We had over 200 nominations. I know that I have Miss Marshall and Mrs. Boggs with me today again, and they're going to give you a little bit of an update on that. But we had 12 finalists, six seventh graders, and six eighth graders. I want to go over our iReady results as well. So here are the winning classes that I emailed out yesterday in terms of your lessons past increase percentages. So congratulations to those classes. Here are the math results. And here are the results for English and language arts. So congratulations. And I will be around to those classes today or tomorrow. And we also have our lab competition, seventh grade. The lab that had the highest lessons pass percentage was Ms. Conley's lab. And eighth grade, it was Ms. Keneally's lab class. So congratulations. And we have we are down to the final four classes for our iReady tournament. We started with 48. We are now down to four. We have Ms. Jeffers' seventh period versus Ms. Lamping's second period. And then we have Ms. Conley's fourth bell versus Mr. Moles' second bell. So those are the four classes we have left. Best of luck to them. And now I'm going to pass it on to Mrs. Boggs and Miss Marshall for a little update on our homecoming court plans. Ladies. Okay. Um, before we announce the finalists for seventh and eighth grade, Miss Marshall and I would like to confirm that there is a dance. The rumors are true. Um, we'll be getting more information to you guys about that next week. Um, so I have the pleasure of announcing our seventh grade homecoming court of finalists. For the ladies, we have Amelia Ball, Addie McSwain, and Caroline Q. Wilcox. For the boys, we have Truett Barnes, Rory Maynard, and Hunter Congleton. Our eighth grade finalists are Addie Bivak, Asha Das, Maya Martinez, Aiden Reeder, Maddox Monroe and Ethan Johnson. Just a reminder that our voting closes tomorrow at 3 p.m. and our winners will be announced on Friday during Hive. All right, so that's our update. Congratulations to our finalists. As I did say earlier, we had over 200 nominations uh, for our R Factor Homecoming Court. We saw a lot of great things and we appreciate you nominating your peers. So uh, congratulations to our finalists and everybody have a great Wednesday in Hornet Country.